Hello all, welcome back. Today we will be discussing how to install Java and Linux. In previous video we have discussed about what are the softwares required for Cassandra cluster setup and we have installed CentOS 7 over the virtual machine and then we have configured a static IP. Now we will see a basic utilities installation and Java 8 setup in the Linux. Now let's go ahead and open the virtual machine and once the machine is up let's open the mobile x and connect to the machine and let so far we have done as a root now I am I will be doing as some other user rams okay so I want to install everything on this particular user so I have chosen this now let me you have already downloaded java let's drag and drop to your into the mobile x term so i have told it is so flexible here is sftp support you can just drag and drop over here so if you see ls you see that the file is in your virtual machine now so earlier we tried if config it didn't work for you so if it has to work you have to install yum install net tools just press enter you will be getting installation everything you need to be root to perform this account ok so let's make su it will ask for password and then give the password now you can give yum install yum install net tools so it will download what all the required you want i have already installed it so it says it's already latest version so let's proceed with the installation of java now i have let me exit from the root okay clear ls so i have the java file let me make a directory slash op let's check what is a home cd tilde will show you a home this is your home directory by default opt and then let's go to cd opt and mkdr java so see let's make ch mode triple seven to opt ch mode triple seven to opt slash java so now that i have created a path opt inside that i have created java so this now i'm going to install my java inside the java folder so let's go to home now i see the tar file let me move this jdk tab and then dot slash opt slash java enter now it's, it got moved cd opt slash java you see here let's extract this file xjvf jdk tab and press enter now we see the tar file is being extracted once it is extracted how do we use start using the java for this we need to set the environment variables so let's check ls it got installed now for this whenever i log in i can just do export and java home and jre home but that is temporary it is so temporary that once we close this window we cannot use that variable again so i want this whenever i log in to this i want the variable set and i want to use again and again so for that what we shall do is we can we shall go to the home directory ls minus lart you see there is a dot bash profile we are going to add our variables over here vi dot bash underscore profile now we have created a uh, directories opt and java we shall be installing our jdk on opt java so i have already moved the java file to opt java and then i have extracted the folder jdk 1.8.0.7 now let's jdk one point this is the one 
so if you see here i can see jre and here bin and inside jre we will find one more pin let's make pwd this is the path and till here it's already a home directory till home and rams this is the home so let's try again cd tilde present work directory this is the home directory let me copy this part to set the variables and ls minus lart now open bash profile vi dot bash underscore profile escape insert and then write java underscore home equals to shift insert don't forget to add tilde so that it goes to the home from home opt java and here and then let's add jre underscore home equals to tilde slash tilde and then our path slash jre and we need to add the path as well in the path at the end we just append append with dollar java underscore home slash bin and append with dollar java jre underscore home <coughs> slash bin the escape colon wq now we have set the bash profile so to make it immediately come into effect we for this we need to execute this so dot space dot slash dot bash underscore profile press enter so let's try with java oh it's working good so java it's cool it's working fine so let me try to duplicate this tab and check it exists or not let me check with the user and then try with java wow so it exists across all the sessions or whenever you log in this dot bash profile executes and it sets the environment variables for us now we have set to start installation of cassandra we have installed the java so this is it for today we shall start on cassandra setup in the next class thank you very much